Hello. Hi. Okay, I was gonna do something funny, but it didn't work out. But let's try this again. Okay. <laughs> Rise and shine, everybody. The oh film god. said girls o'clock. <laughs> oh my god. Rise and shine. <gasps> oh, I forgot about that. Stormy. <laughs> you look just like mommy. <laughs> okay. So welcome back, everybody. Uh, it's been it's been a week. It's been a oh, long time. has it been a week? Oh, I was going to say, I meant, I meant, like, also, it's been a while since we all three of us have been together. Yeah. yeah. That's so true. On the show. Back and better than ever. Finally reunited. Hope everyone had a lovely Thanksgiving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rested, ate some good food, did some fun things, relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> I know my Thanksgiving was lovely. Was yours lovely? <laughs> mine was lovely. Good. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, mine was... Was yours good as well? Mine was fine. <laughs> yours is fine. I mean, yeah. I had, like, holes in my mouth because I got my wisdom out. But other than that, <laughs> it was good. Did we watch anything exciting over Thanksgiving <gasps> break? Yes. yes. Segue. <laughs> I watched you season three. I haven't seen a lot. Of t- I, I don't watch TV that much anymore, but this was my time to at least catch up on I chose... I was like, I need to watch at least one, like, season or, like, short series over break just to mm-hmm. be in the being the now so i chose it was between squid games or you season three so i chose you season three so, mm. yeah thoughts um it was i think i no i i enjoyed watching it <laughs> no sorry i'm like head empty i got a message and i was like who texted me um more because i also remember hunter hasn't finished it yet oh yeah so yeah no spoilers but um, oh that's right um, I think the thing, I'm going to just say that it's good, but I think they only have at least one good season in them before it gets, like, kind of bad, if that makes sense. I'm so, I was like, you know, it's a little starting to get a little bit tiring. I'm starting to get a little bit tired. Yeah, of, like, like, it's, it's a little bit repetitive mm-hmm. or at it's this a, point. I think it's one of those things to me. I'm like, it's like it's getting too, it was getting too crazy, like, where it's like, y'all, you're, you're just too deep in this now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it spiraled a little bit to the point where it's like, how long can you keep it going on for exactly before it blows up in his face exactly and of course like yeah just wait till you get to the ending hunter like it's crazy i know yeah. i think i literally have one episode left i don't know why i haven't watched it i wait, think i oh straight up just forgot about it <laughs> <laughs> like at I least finished. you didn't skip an episode like i did yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah well i watched house of gucci House of Gucky. Wait. House of Gucky. What did you think? I really liked it. People have been like yeah. saying bad things about it. I really liked it. I've heard and mixed like, opinions as yeah, well. Yeah, I was talking to my mom today actually about it, and she said that people, a lot of people were talking about Adam Driver not being good in it, and they were like, oh, he was really flat. Like, his performance was really flat and stuff, and I'm like, do people not pay attention because that's literally the character. Like, the character yeah. is supposed to be this kind of, like, nerdy guy who finds himself in this like lustful situation so obviously he's not gonna know what to do with it but then as he gains power like he gains that sort of like ego but it's still awkward because he's not born that way you know like does that make sense so Mm -hmm. i don't know i was like it it just makes me angry not that i have the right opinion (laughs) (laughs) but i mean i also just love adam driver oh yes so i thought it was really really good though like i that's the first movie in a while that I've, like, really enjoyed watching. Ooh. And that I've thought about wow. after. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, of course, the costumes were amazing. Oh, like, yeah. Like, they don't even get... I could, like, write a book about it. I feel like they were just so good. And, like, because obviously it has a lot to do with fashion and, like, historical fashion. I mean, historical in the sense of, like, 70s to 90s in like Gucci and Gucci history. And it's really cool. Like fashion history is really interesting and they talk, they touch on it in really cool ways in the movie. So I appreciated that as a, as a fashion lover. As a costume girl. As a costume girl. Like working on something like that would be my dream. Is it true that like Lady Gaga's accent was kind of weird? I didn't think it was weird. I think at first, like both of their accents was kind of hard to get used to. Cause obviously I know that they're not Italian mm-hmm. or like they're not from Italy. Um, so like it it was a little bit weird at first, but I didn't think it was like off putting at all. Mm. I thought I thought it was good. I'll have to check it out. I'm probably gonna watch it like over winter break. I think. Okay, let me know what you and think. I'll let you know. See, moi or we moi or see. 
Me as well. <laughs> That's a lot for me. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Exciting. Exciting. I'll talk about what I watched real quick, and then we can get into the what we actually want to talk about. The, the topic show. at hand. Because mm-hmm. I watched Licorice Pizza. <gasps> yes. Um, in 70 millimeter. It was kind of the only option I had. I didn't realize that the movie was having like a limited release. But I watched it in 70 millimeter, and it was fun. It was a good... Um, you know, kind of like slice of life type film. <laughs> like all Paul T- Paul Thomas Anderson films, I think it's a little long. I think that's what I heard too. Towards the, like you could have you could have shortened it a little bit. Um, but I really liked the performances. Costumes were great, of course. <gasps> the whole vibe. Yes. Like I love how he makes the valley look kind of like appealing. No offense. <laughs> yeah. But if my dad is listening, he's gonna be I'm mad sorry. that you said that. <laughs> it's because I'm from the beach, so I have no, like, concept of, like, the valley. <laughs> I know. I want to see it really bad. Yeah, it looks really good. Did he see it in New, New York? Yeah, I saw it in New York. Um, New York nice. girl. So artsy. Yeah, I was city a New girl. Yorker girl over break. So that was exciting. Such a city yeah. gal. I know. Mm-hmm. City girl. Fine. But... <laughs> yeah, sorry. I needed to like take deep sides. I'm everyone. so tired, y'all. Um, I, <laughs> I'm not gonna go into what I had to do last night, but I had to do a lot. Oh, night, but oh god. Um, <laughs> oh yes. Yeah, but <laughs> with that, uh, so we're gonna do stuff a little different today. Uh, talk about something a little different today. We're gonna get <laughs> physical, <laughs> as in like we're gonna talk about oh my the god. things we do. <laughs> you know, we talk about oh. things <laughs> we do. Um, you know, because we talk about film, like, and we talk about how like oh we write about film and like we <laughs> analyze film but now we talk about how our involvement on set or like making making the film, the yes. film. like getting physical get it get it yeah yeah get it get it all of the like film stuff that we do outside of our major basically mm-hmm. yeah especially because like you know when people hear film studies major they're like oh so you don't go on set oh so like all you do is like watch movies and like sit in <gasps> oh your bed God. and read mm-hmm. that happened last night actually i just remember really I think it was... That's funny. What There was a, a film study squad last night, but one of us was like, <gasps> someone... Yeah, I was just talking, and they were like, oh, film... Like, oh, film study is like, oh, so you're like film production. No. <laughs> um, no. Film studies, it's different. <laughs> like, we can do stuff in film production, which is what we're going to talk about, yeah. but like, no. Our degree... What, the, the class... The, the, our degree is not... Yeah. yeah. And what's really cool about film studies is like, all of us, I think, for the most part, like, all want to go into different things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we've all taken, like, different classes within, like, film, um, the realm of film, whatever, yeah. like. So it's really cool. I mean, yeah. to, like, talk about our experience and, and also stuff. to say, like, also what I like about our major, it's, like, I don't think, I don't feel it's competitive compared to other majors, you yeah. know? Yeah. Because, like, you know, we're also when it comes to even writing, like, yes, we are writing this, writing similar you know like we have to write the same papers however like we can be writing about very different things we're not writing about the same film we're writing about all different tv shows films so i think it's like not as stressful and you yeah it, there's like i don't feel it's a need to compare myself to y'all yeah like yeah. in a negative way you know what i mean where it's yeah. like oh like hunter's better than me she got a better grade than <laughs> she's me. a better film star girl than i mean me. yeah, better like, film i mean major than me. you don't need to because everyone knows that already Oh, oh. Mike off. <laughs> Mike off. No. You get a fart. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo. Ew, stop. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I think I think it's interesting. And like, I know a lot of times when people, I mean, okay, not saying a lot of people ask me about being a film studies major, like for advice. <laughs> but like, if anyone ever does, I like to talk about the fact that you can still do production stuff because there's like a misconception yes. that you can't or that it's separate. So, yeah, and I think, like, I mean, there's, like, funny stories from being on set. There's, like, harrowing stories from being <laughs> on set. Mm-hmm. Um, I, it's, a, it's an interesting time, and I think, yeah, it's built a lot of, at least my experience in film school, um, whether, like, good or bad. But, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, and totally. also, special shout out, I mean, none of them are, are listening right now because they're all on set, but... My friend CJ's thesis is shooting this weekend. Oh, CJ. And, yeah. Ooh. And we've, I, we've done collabs with CJ. <gasps> yes, y'all know CJ. If you are a fan of our YouTube channel, we've done a collab with CJ, and we did a stream with them. We so, did. And, and CJ's I've, thesis is so cool. 
Her- and y'all should I'm so support Her- it. Heritage High. Yeah, it's called Heritage High. Follow Heritage High Film on Instagram. Mm-hmm. But shout out to them because that inspired our theme this week. Yeah, it, yeah, it did. It did. But um, I guess we can do question of the day. I guess a quick question. Then we, oh, can go, yeah. <laughs> we can go. We can go into like quick cute stories we have on set. Like because we've been on sets together and yeah, stuff. True. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. It's been a long Sorry, time. Sorry, Isabel gave me this look. as like. Did we have like I said you were like <laughs> oh no I think I was just processing what you were yeah. saying <laughs> like I'm so out of it <laughs> uh, but yeah you can say your name your uh <laughs> sorry say, say your, your name <laughs> say your name and say like what's your favorite thing to do when it comes to set it could be like it could also be like like I guess pre-production post-production set whatever um Ooh. I can go first hi everybody I'm Angelica Kuna like a Kuna Patata. <laughs> Oh Thank my god. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you everybody. But um my favorite thing to do is actually post production. I like to do audio. Uh yes. um if Clarice is watching, shout out to Clarice, but probably or what well, listening? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh but I like to I don't know, I just really like audio design. I haven't really done like if I'm being honest, I haven't done like sound like post production when it comes to movie like visual sound i've only done like just sound like i've mm. worked with like audio drama so i've only done like purely podcast stuff if that makes sense but yeah i've also but i have done on set sound like where i've hold the i held the boom up <laughs> i've been a boom operator Hell and i've been a, yes. and i've been a sound mixer before so edgy yeah, yeah so that's what i've done on set i just like being a sound gal i think it's fun yeah love that yes. love sound we love sound. Yeah, that's why, sound. that's why. That's why. That's why I'm in charge of the um, of the sound the effects. Of the sound effects. Exactly. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go next. Would you like to go next? Okay. <laughs> um. Hi, I'm Isabella, and oh, aw. <laughs> I really Guys. needed that right now. Thank you. <laughs> and I would say my favorite part of like the film processes of now, I've really gotten interested into like pre-production creative development. Um, I actually, I mean, hopefully like it all works out, but I like just got an internship in a management company. <gasps> yes, hit those claps, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait I got that. Oh, well, oh. The big applause. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, thank you. So I really am interested in learning more about like um, managing, producing, um, just like everything you need to kind of like put the project together and to like call, cause like I also have like kind of books and like IP that like I would love to see get turned into like TV shows or movies and like to have the yes. power to do that would be so cool. So I'm currently like in a few producing classes and it's been a lot of fun. So, uh, producing gal, I hear you drinking your water in the microphone. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ew, uh. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, well, hey. <laughs> After that, um, I'm Hunter. What's up? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I don't like the slander. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> anyway, I'm Hunter, and the thing that I like to do on set is costume design. Woo. I know. I like feel like I talk about it every episode. <laughs> But because it kind of bleeds into like film studies for me, because when I watch movies, that's what I tend to notice, like first and foremost is costume design. And like, I really like writing about it. And like, I just, I just love the, I mean, not like science, but the science behind it. You know what I'm saying? I think it's so interesting. And yeah, ideally, that is what I want to do, like for my life. (laughs) So we'll see if that happens. But yeah, I really like doing it. And yeah, that's me. Do you have a favorite like era or like, I don't know, Ooh. like it's the Bella with all the questions today. I know. I feel like I'm getting interviewed. I, I know. I need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a good question. Gotta I have for recruitment. <laughs> I haven't done a lot of like, quote unquote, period pieces or like anything really like historic like that i've kind of dabbled in like 90s a bit um but yeah i definitely want to do more in terms of like historic stuff and like research like heavy research projects i think would be really cool and like i have this giant book of like 
all these different outfits from all these different decades like for reference and it's just oh it's so cool that's but, so yeah. cool oh yeah but yes thank you everybody <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of the episode <laughs> oh my god <laughs> um but yeah, we can talk about, well, we've all been on set before, like we mentioned. Uh, I think the first set we were all together was for an um, IP, mm-hmm. um, which what an IP means an intermediate project. Yeah, it's like yes. a sophomore year project. Sophomore year project, yes. Um, we were Have all... we been on other ones together? Or I guess our we, own. I was going to say, we, when we made our... Oh. oh, yeah, we made our own. Hunter <laughs> we and I were on, a, were, on a, were on a thesis together. <gasps> we were. Yeah, we were on a thesis together. Yeah. And um, I've been on another th- like no that was the only we only been on one all together like that wasn't our own and then Hunter and I were on one mm-hmm. I don't think I don't think you and I have been on one I don't think so I've been on only like a handful of sets yeah I so. haven't been on too many Hunter's probably like the pro yeah at set. you've been I am on the most. definitely not the pro well it's funny too I mean out of like, three of us out of three because <laughs> like for costume design especially in COVID times like I don't actually go to set. I just That's like, like nice though. <laughs> I know because set I don't low really like key sometimes set. is really boring, especially for a costume designer when there's only like one outfit each. So I get them ready in the morning, and then I'm just sitting there. And I'm like, exactly. Oh, I remember just like uh, picking my nose or something. <laughs> so, I don't pick my nose, guys. So I remember <laughs> with uh, me with me and Hunter's thesis, I was on for the second weekend. It was like right at, right before Thanksgiving break. Yeah. And I remember I was a cam camera cameras utility. So my job was Ooh. just like, like if any of the camera people needed something, I fetched it for them. Yeah, yeah. But I felt bad because the first day I was like so <laughs> tired, and I think I literally took a I took a nap outside. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, are we like yeah? I was just I remember people took pictures of me and my the person who took a nap though. I was so tired, and then I remember Clarice was on that set. And they're like, oh, we were looking for you. But then we found it. I was like, oh, gosh, I felt so like they were like they asked where I was at and like they needed me to do something. And I was nowhere to be found. I felt so bad that the next day after that, I was just like, yeah, I did you not, were on it. You were I like, did not. I'm not messing up. I did not leave their side. It <laughs> yeah. was like kind of like scary. Like I was a little bit stalkerish. I was like, do you need something? And basically, <laughs> yeah, my 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 big job was like when the DP, the DP was pretty she was pretty small so whenever like she didn't want to hold the camera anymore she handed it to me and i had yeah. to hold this big camera. <laughs> yeah i was so scared it was it was like kind of scary honestly i would be so scared too like that's too much oh yeah i remember i had to like my other job is like she had to be on bot crate sometimes because she was oh, small yeah. so i had to like spot her yeah and i remember oh, one wow. time she almost fell and i caught her a little bit but then i messed up like the lighting and i felt really bad i think because i like accidentally yeah. stepped on something because i like because she almost fell and i was like the camera's more important, right? That's yeah. Yeah, like, you can fix that lighting later. Yeah, so... That's so funny. Yeah, or... Yeah, so that was that. And I remember Hunter was watching Lost, and Hunter was in a room. Oh, my God, I was, because I was writing my paper. Yeah, this is for, for film analysis. Film analysis. Ooh, oh, wow, gosh. throwback. Thro- I was going to say throwback. <clears throat> that is such a throwback. I used to remember what Hunter was doing a lot, because I remember I would be like... <laughs> But that was a really fun set because that I guess everyone was really nice. Yeah, that was a good set to be part of. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm trying to think. I feel like I definitely have funny stories from set. Oh, I have a funny story. So there was a set that I did costumes for um, sophomore year, and it involved drag queens. And, like, oh, I remember that. I remember it was that one. so Foundation? Fun. Yeah. yeah. That was, like, a big deal, that set, too. It like, was so Like, even I knew about it, and I fun. wasn't on. Yeah. <laughs> and, like... So, yeah, so it, it involved a lot of drag queens, and obviously drag queens are hilarious, and they oh have such gosh. big personalities, and, like, it was just so fun being around them, and, like, because obviously when you costume someone, you, you get, like, you get a lot of face time with them, because you're kind of, like, up close and personal, you know, <laughs> like, pitting their stuff, and, like, getting, sometimes if they're wearing a wig, like, getting their hair right, like, you know, so you have some FaceTime with them and, like, one-on-one conversations, and they were so funny. Like, that was one of the best sets I've ever been on because just everyone, like, good vibes. And the drag queens were just making everyone laugh, like, all the time. And they were so funny. And I remember, like, we had one Chapman student play, like, the bartender because um, it was set in, like, a drag club or, like, a gay bar or something. Mm-hmm. And... So we had a Chapman student playing the bartender. And I remember, like, all the drag queens would be flirting with him. And, like, 
it was because so, I put him in kind of like a skimpy like tank top sort of look and they were all flirting with him and like it was just so funny like oh good times good times it was a little scary though because I had to style a wig and I've never done that before but other than that I don't know why I remember you being on that set very clearly really like for some reason I remember like all the stories you told me (laughs) I remember you said like there was an issue with some costume ing with like one of the act drag queens like like would come late or something or like they like didn't have their they were not ready or something yeah Yeah, i remember there's always like some stress with costume design especially when you're relying on the actors to bring stuff but like nine times out of ten it's okay Mm -hmm. yeah but for some reason i just remember that yeah very (laughs) like it's like very clear in my head yeah um that was so fun and yeah but the set we were all together was the ip and i remember I i was boom Operator Isabella was she did the oh, oh you were second, the second AC, AC mm-hmm. so she did the basically you want to explain I did it? like yeah I like did the <laughs> slate mostly and then I might have also been like first AC to be honest because I also like would get lenses for the DP and like handle like camera equipment and stuff and I had no idea what I was doing oh I'd also put down um tape like I'd put down like oh yeah for markers for actors and stuff um. And then we were stand-ins for a little bit. Oh, yeah. We did, oh like, we did, we did the fault on our stars. Oh, like, yeah. Thing. Yeah, yes, we were photos. stand-ins. That was fun. I like when you get to, like, go on set and, like, you're just kind of um, – you just, like, do, like, different things because, like, mm-hmm. like we said, like, I don't know. I mean, I can get kind of, like, bored sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and also – yeah. And, yeah. Also with IPs, uh, IPs are shot – it's, like, one-day shoot yeah and then vcs vcs are like two weekends isn't it like a weekend or two, two weekends. weekends yeah ap's are so weekend. friday through sunday yeah so wow. it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty weird and then ap's which is our advanced advanced productions mm-hmm. they are one weekend yeah so i guess to clarify that for our listeners who are not um part of dogs just so you know but yeah but you, and usually when you're on set it's like full 12 hours so yeah every day so from like 8 a.m to 8 p.m type of type it can of be day. exhausting even like sitting there and doing nothing i feel so dumb like coming home and being tired because i didn't even do anything whereas <laughs> yeah. other people are like building lights and like <laughs> you know like holding heavy equipment and stuff and i'm sitting there like oh i'm so tired <laughs> when i like put a dress on someone i'm like <laughs> <laughs> i know i was okay. so tired but i remember when i went because like the ip was my first set i was on like perf- like more professional dog set honestly saying i remember like we went to go see the screening of the ip during finals week and me and isabella got way too excited when we saw our names on the credits I'm like, <laughs> oh my god that's right <laughs> boom operator on Lake. i'm like yes! oh my god <laughs> i remember actually i just remembered that i helped out on um I think it was Grams, Grams yeah, IP, Grams. right? I literally oh, was there yeah. for like half a day, but I think I got credit as like a PA or something. I remember like Hell seeing my yeah. name in the credits and I was like, oh my God, wait, <laughs> like, that is so cool. Is... I really like, I think I helped the producer like get food and like do like small things like that. But it was so funny when you like <laughs> see your name, you're like, yeah, I was there. That's I contributed. Me. I'm part of it. Eh. Yeah, no. exactly. So yeah and then we had our we had our own sets but those are like <laughs> not as professional they were the oh. most professional sets yeah true true those are the best movies that have ever come out of dodge i don't know I don't yeah know. i'm gonna stand by that like i'm exactly <laughs> i'm gonna stand by that forever <laughs> they're so funny like we're just geniuses yeah honestly. if you haven't if you don't know what we're talking about we actually have we really are our reactions to our films up on our youtube channel yeah um we for of all the first years in Dodge, yeah, literally all the first years mm-hmm. in Dodge, we have to take intro to visual storytelling, which is like a basically a crash course on how to make a short film. And it's mm-hmm. just like depending. Well, ours is not taken as seriously because we took it spring semester with like non film non film production, non-film majors. production <laughs> majors. So it was really fun to like goof around. And I remember it was me, the three of us, and then our other friend Joseph, Joe Lee, and. <laughs> Um, we were supposed to switch groups every 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 movie. Yeah, and then we never did. But we said no. We the whole class in agreement was like no. Yeah, our dynamic was just too good. Mm-hmm. I know we just we collaborate we so meshed. well. We really did. We got to act in them. We got to <laughs> produce, write. We did it all. Edit. Edit. Um. Direct. Oh, oh yeah, I did yeah. the I did Foley. For, 
You Foley. did? Yeah, I did oh do Foley. God, right. So that yeah. was like, for, I didn't know what, because like our... <laughs> when I had to scream into the pillow yeah. in your dorm and you were like, we don't want anyone to file a complaint against us. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so I did all, all that. Um, mostly it was just like on my little phone and I'm like, okay, I'm going to like pretend they're picking a lock. So I'm just going to... I mean, it worked. It worked. And it was... It worked. And I remember um, our teacher is, is a sound designer. And I mm-hmm. remember there's one, another group, I will not say what group, but they did Foley too, but it's very noticeable. And Harry's like, wow, you did Foley? That sounded so, like, you should get, like, extra points for doing Foley. And I'm like, well, I did it too. You just don't notice it because, Because it's so good. Because it's so good. Oh. So. Yeah. I remember he did like our sound, though. Like, I feel like he did comment on it. And mm-hmm. he was like, oh, nice. Mm-hmm. And we got original us. score. We literally got for original score. neighbors. John Coons, Y'all, if you're listening to this. No one is doing it. I love it. you. Shout out no to No one John. is doing it like us. No one is doing it like <laughs> us. Yeah. Not to toot our own horns. Exactly. But it was so good. And then, like, the remember when we did... <laughs> oh, God. Let's just fangirl about our own movie. But when we, did, like, did the the camera, like, panned up and then it, like, went black. <gasps> that was yes. so good. Honestly. <laughs> I know we keep saying it, but we really need to make the other the next one. Yeah. Like, I think I next it. semester... We got when it. we're in Capstone, we'll be like, <gasps> we'll be seeing because each other. we'll, we'll be all with be each other. Every... So true. We'll be forced to yeah. see each other. We should re- exactly. And then during and intern, we should excuse. do pre-production. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm so down. Yeah, we should write it. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah. We should have like writers meetings. Yeah. Go to <gasps> yeah, like writers a cafe. Rooms. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm down. Sorry, we're playing. If anyone wants to join the team, <laughs> yeah, if we'll inquire, hire you. inquire yeah. below. Give us a call at seven one four five one six six one. Eight seven. If you want to be a writer's assistant, yeah, please. You and can... I feel like now we've learned so much, we can really elevate it. Oh gosh, it's gonna be like the best production Dude, ever. After, it's gonna be like, the best movie. After <laughs> honestly being in Kelly's class, I'm gonna be like, oh, this is gonna be so big brain. Yeah, we're gonna put some film theory in there. Mm-hmm. Watch out. Some mm-hmm. abjection. Ab- <gasps> abject. Ooh, <laughs> some. Some affect. Affect. Abject. Some, uh, affect. Some. Uh, some. Some. Uh, realism. Yeah. Some realism, Realist? some some documentary styles, if you will. I don't Schadenfreude. know. Schadenfreude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some do- Yeah. <laughs> what did we say? <laughs> Talking heads. Is that what we talked about? Maybe. Whatever that documentary. We could do was. that. Oh. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll keep you. We'll keep y'all keep posted. Updated. It's gonna be great, guys. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like other funny set stories if I have any. I feel like a lot of my set stories are just me being stressed. <laughs> it's just. Sets can be, yeah, we always, we just talk, sets can be stressful, so. Depends on who you're working with, too, mm-hmm. obviously. Definitely. Like, us, yeah, keep going. I, I just have, like, a few experiences where, like, I would go, like, on random sets, and it, like, I wouldn't even really have, like, a distinct role. I just, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, there's definitely, like, a pressure, like, you have to go on set every weekend, and, like, you have to, like, do something on oh. set. And, like, if you don't want to, then you don't have to, you know what I mean? But, like, yeah. so I, like, went on, like, a few random ones one time, and, like, you feel a little like a fish out of water, because you're, like, why am I even here? Like, especially not being, like, screenwriting or, like, film production or producing, I always mm-hmm. felt, like, oh, like, I don't even know, like, what camera equipment is. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, definitely. So. Yeah, it can definitely was get, like, toxic quick. Yeah. <laughs> Like, if people have big egos and, oh like, my God. Yeah. people just take themselves too seriously. Because, obviously, you know, these projects are serious and, like, it's for these people's grades and thesis is, like, a huge deal, obviously. Yeah. But when people get too serious about it, like, it just, it's not fun anymore. Yeah. Like, you still want to have fun. Because then what's the point? Yeah. And, honestly, I'm a big believer in, like, if your set sucks, it's going to show in your movie. Like, yeah. Like, you can totally tell. Like, the vibes mm-hmm. are just, like, off or, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, or, like, if you have a lot of fun on your set and, like, you make friends and, like, it's a good time, that'll show in your movie, too. AKA, watch our film. You'll see that. Yeah, we have such a good time. Literally. Also, when it comes to theses at Chapman, like, basically, for a lot of the seniors, that's, like, the film... Those are films they put out at, like, certain... Like, um, Like festivals. Festivals. So, some people... it's it's, I understand it's a really big deal for people. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, but I remember the, even the thesis the thesis we were on, like, I, the director was so sweet. She went to every single person on set and said thank you, like, knew our name. Like, even yeah. me, someone who, like, I was there for only one weekend. She came up Someone to who me. slept on set. Someone who slept, <laughs> slept on the job. Um, I guess, like, well, she did talk to me on this, on the, 
the, my last, like one of the last days I was there, the second or third day I was there. Actually, no, I was only there for two days. The second oh, yeah. day I was there, she like did come up to me and was like, like, oh, you've been like so like, you you've been very like you did, you're doing a good job. I'm like, okay, good. I'm I have been doing a good job my second <laughs> day, but um, she was super sweet and like knew my name too. Like, I mean, she probably yeah. asked somebody like, what's her name again before coming up to me, but yeah. But also, I just wanted to say like, you kind of see like as a fr- as a first year, you you say like. Oh my gosh, I want to be on set. I really want to be on set. But as a senior, I'm like, no. Yeah. No. I, don't, I do not want to be on set. <laughs> yeah. Like, my roommates, oh my roommate, shout out Cynthia, was on like yes, a Cynthia. set that was like 5 p.m. to 5 a.m., like an overnight set. Oh, yeah. yeah. I did costumes for that, but I didn't have to be there. Nice. Ooh, nice. So, yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> I felt bad about that. I'm like, never, 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 never. So, yeah. And also, when it comes to Overnights like. Overnights are rough. Yeah. I've done a couple in my day, <laughs> in I, my youth. I, I'm so sorry. I just thought about, I have a funny story about Seb, but it didn't happen to me. <gasps> Wait, tell it. Did Simon tell you guys about when he dropped the Mexican food in Cooper's car? <laughs> I have heard this story. I have not. I think. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Honestly, like he should be the one telling the story. But from what I remember, like. Have him call in. Have him call in. Oh my God. Literally yeah, Simon, call in. Like, call in. Tells, I don't know. Tell text story, him, please. Text him. Simon, call into the radio show right now and yeah. tell us the story. Yeah. Because I forget where they are. Like, also, they're not... in, like, the middle of, I don't know. They're just, like, in the middle of nowhere. And mm. it's a whole thing. <laughs> also, Isabella actually has been in, like, acting. <gasps> and, like, true. She's kinda, an actress. She's an actress. <gasps> she was in, I remember yes. when Isabella got casted for something, like, kind of a big, a big, kind of big boy project-ish. Yeah. I mean, like, it was what you were saying about, like, how he wanted to send it out to like festivals and things like that the story of how it happened actually <laughs> is kind of funny because it's so random god ugh, bless chapman grand miss it honestly but like the shuttle. back in the days when i lived in chapman grand and i didn't have a car i had to take the shuttle to campus and you kind of like start to recognize the usual suspects because <laughs> you know like you take the same bus at the same time to go to class so after like maybe only once or twice of talking to this guy on the bus. He was just, like, super nice. Um, And I remember we met, like, on my birthday, actually, I think. And he, like, requested to be friends with me on Facebook. And I was like, I really don't use Facebook. Like, I don't really care. It's fine. And then he reached out, and he was like, hey, like, hopefully, like, this isn't weird or anything, but, like, (laughs) I want to, like, cast you in my, like, short film that I'm making um, because, like, I don't really want, like, like screen acting majors or like professional actors or anything like that um and i was like <laughs> okay so would you say it was a realist film yeah <gasps> realist. i don't know <laughs> um not really <laughs> but, but i guess that part was real the italian neo-realist was the ones who did like unprofessional actors. true so would you say it was an italian neo <laughs> yes <laughs> cool it was more of like a psychological thriller to be honest i remember yes. i saw it i watched it yeah, I think I'm I'm sure I sent you guys the link. Yeah. I remember it. But I remember that was story. like a weekend shoot, I think. We just shot in his dorm, like um basically like I was like grieving over like my sister who died or like she kept like coming back and like haunting me. Um and then well I won't spoil the ending, but <laughs> yeah. It ended up being silent actually. Like I, I didn't have any dialogue. Ooh. Um that's fun. So I had to use my acting chops. But yeah, I felt very professional. Mm-hmm. I remember I was like really, I remember my first, um, in our sorority, my first chapter I did, I gave Isabella a shout out for getting cast. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. That was the first thing I did. Everyone looked back at her like, ooh, because we were, we were <laughs> like little sophomores. So like we were in the, because in like, when you sit for chapters, like alphabetical, but like by your place class. Yeah. So like Isabella's in the way back and everyone like looks back at her and I was, and she looks at me, I'm like, hee 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 hee. So. that's so cool though mm-hmm. yeah oh my god i like she's kind of behind about that. Oh my and god. in front yeah. of the camera yeah. yes and if you see her in neighbors oh that's I also mean, a neighbor she's really good true stellar role stellar role i look so <laughs> different i know you do look so different days. it's crazy mm-hmm. i feel like we we are yeah, side tangent we were talking about how like how we like our evolution of how we all looked since like we've all known each other and we it's we, weird. we all agree that isabella has changed like the most yeah, <laughs> i feel like i look exactly the same but same. I, I think everyone thinks that they look the same yeah you know yeah like, like i think i look tell. the same but i think i think we think isabella has looked dramatically 
different because like the hair. Yeah. Oh Isabella yeah, from, I was like, like she, she had bangs. She had bangs and she had like I really did. short hair at I one did. point. Yeah. So I don't know. I think what happened was like I had the same hairstyle my whole life, and then s- senior year of high school I got bangs, and then I was like. <laughs> what do I want to do in college? Like, I kind of want to, like, mix it up a little bit. And then, like, both my roommates had short hair, and I was like, I kind of want to, like, cut it off. <laughs> and so, yeah, I don't know. I was, like, doing all kinds of things. And then sophomore year, it was dyed, like, a reddish kind of. <gasps> yes, I forgot yeah. about that. And now it's, like, back to its natural color. So it's kind of, like, it's lighter than usual because it's, like, the old dye kind of, like, coming yeah. out of my hair. Mm-hmm. But that was my hair for, like, a year. Yeah. After my oh yeah. Because when we met you, yeah, you had you bleached were, hair. H- Hunter yeah. had bleached hair when we first. We're going yeah. on a wayside tangent. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I mean, set is set, and we're not on it like too too much. So this is fine. Yeah. There is throwback. Just, Just reminiscing. Yeah. Hunter had bleached hair. I did have bleached hair because I sort of had the same thing. I had like a crisis. Like, okay, not a crisis. <laughs> I'll relax. But like, you know, I I had my little like exactly identity crisis of like oh i'm going to college and like i don't really feel like i know who i am and like blah 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 so of course the only realistic um sane decision is to dye your hair right of course so i just fully bleached my hair yeah i thought it looked pretty sick i never dyed my hair before (gasps) really virgin hair yeah virgin hair um my god mostly because i remember (laughs) I know my dad's probably listening, but I remember one time I, like, kind of wanted to. Well, growing up, I kind of wanted to be blonde because um, I grew up in a white neighborhood. And, like, I was, I mean, I am white passing, but I'm Latina. And I remember, like, I was, like, oh, it looks like all, like, and I, this is, like, traumatic, I guess. But I I went (laughs) to, uh, I remember in elementary school, there was plays that, you know, like, you have plays you audition for. Uh And I remember we did an audition. You signed, it was basically you wrote on a note, like, "This this is the part I want. And, like, I really wanted to be, like, either Rapunzel, Cinderella, or, like, um, Little, Red, Little Red Riding Hood. And I remember someone's like, well, you're, you're not, you don't have blonde hair, so you can't be those parts. And I oh, went, no. like, oh, what? So I remember, like, begging my parents, like, can I please dye my hair blonde one day? Because I really wanted to be, like. <laughs> blonde especially is drastic. Yeah, yeah, so I remember, like, I was just, like, I was, like, because I wanted to be, I thought blonde equaled pretty growing up. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. I always, like. I thought about that at some point. So I was like, what if I dyed it blonde, like, just mm-hmm. to see what would happen? Hasn't happened yet, yeah. but... <laughs> but, oh, but the reason why I haven't is because I remember my dad, like... I remember this so distinctly. It was, like, one summer, my dad, like... I, I My dad and I were walking around. He's like, oh, like, your hair's so pretty. Like, it has natural blonde highlights in the sun. Like, stuff oh. like that. And I was like, oh, if I dye it, then, like, it's gonna... My hair's not gonna be the same. Yeah. So that's why I was, like... Which is valid, because... Yeah, it takes a while for it to, like, go back. So, yeah, I thought, I thought like, oh, what if I did, like, my tips, tips of my hair Oh, my God, color? frosted tips. <laughs> Something like that. No. But, um, no, yeah, so that's that's the reason why I haven't dyed my hair. I haven't, when it comes to hair, I, like, one time, ch- like, I donated it, and I chopped it really short, where I looked like Dora, and someone was, like, <laughs> Dora-looking ASS. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, when I was playing basketball on, on the PE court. <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> like in middle school that was embarrassing um so oh my god yeah yeah i've been on like a hair dye journey if you know me you know i've dyed my hair like eight times yeah <laughs> and i want to do it again so bad but i'm really trying not to you never did it like you're gonna do dark one time yeah i want to do black yeah like i, I want to dye my hair dark you should <sighs> Maybe one day. I need to let her breathe for a little bit. Yeah. She went through the bleach, and then she went through too much. Like, my hair... So I bleached my hair summer before freshman year, and my hair didn't go back to normal until, like, this summer. Like, really? I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it takes a yeah. long time. It was crazy. Yeah, because I still have... I have photos of me from, like, last year, like, last school year. Your hair was lighter. My ha- yeah, like, it was still light, like, at the bottom. Crazy Tea. times. Well very interesting yeah i don't know how we got to the subject yeah i don't, <laughs> and I mean, I don't know if oh, anyone i care <laughs> at all stop listening <laughs> we're talking about hair yeah. i mean i don't blame them i mean it's, I, I we talked we started talking about because um we were talking about how like isabel looked really different oh she in, acted. in our oh, short yeah. in our short films so so true back to the short film yeah. i mean we only have five minutes left of our show Ooh, true so. okay what should we like what should what should we touch on touch on i don't know I can't think of any more sad stories. Like, oh my gosh. I don't know. I know. I wish I had like a... (laughs) 
Why do I? I'm like forgetting everything that's Literally, like ever happened only, to me. <laughs> the only ones I can think of are like horrible, like horrible stories. Oh, and God. I don't want to like throw anyone under the Ooh. bus. <laughs> mm. Fair, fair. Oh, but yeah. I mean, moral of the story, at least from me, is that if you find what you're passionate about, then it's really fun yeah. to, like, either be on set or if your passion's not on set, obviously. It's just fun, like, in film school, at least for me. And I feel like with you guys, too, it's given us a lot of room to explore. And I feel like all of us maybe came into film school thinking that we wanted to do different things than yeah. we wanted to, than oh, we yeah. actually want to do now. Yeah. Like, I know I totally have like i wasn't even i didn't even know that costume design was like a thing yeah i didn't know sound design (laughs) was a thing like i thought it was like ooh, too techy i don't like that yeah 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 i remember when i when i was going into film school i think i was like (laughs) more on directing what my mom just texted me not happening i will cut you off it took two years to go back (laughs) my hair (laughs) yeah she keeps saying that she's gonna cut me off if i dye my hair oh my god oh no we'll we'll see we'll see (laughs) Yeah, I think I wanted, I remember, like, a lot of people thought when I told, I remember, yeah, when I was going to film school, because my high school's not, like, it wasn't a, like, not, we don't have any, like, film people, so I was, like, one of the only people going to film school, and I remember, like, oh, you're going to be a director, I was, like, oh, yeah, sure, I can be a director, like, I thought I was going to be, like, going in to be a director, Yeah. but I decided to do sound, and I, yeah, I think, like you said, film school, being in a film school, like, yes, it, it's expensive, but I think it allows you to have, like, a lot of opportunities that you wouldn't have any anywhere yeah, else for the I most definite, part. Yeah. Like, I, I don't would... think it's necessary for mm-hmm. everyone. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, if you have the opportunity, I would yeah. definitely say take it. Yeah. I don't think anyone listening is, like, asking for advice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Probably most of you are in film school or are, like, <laughs> mm-hmm. our parents or something. But... <laughs> yeah, but any of my high school people out there who, yeah. like, find our podcast one day, like, on oh, Spotify. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, just, like... I think just, like, because knowing me, I didn't have, like, growing up, I or just in high school, I didn't have, like, opportunities to, like, do film stuff. So mm-hmm. it was really cool in college to, like, get the opportunity to do it in a more professional setting. Like, I I mean, give or take, I am technically paying, but at the same time, like, not out of pocket. <laughs> yes, I'm in debt. Uh, yeah, fair. Like, uh, like, it's um, okay. We don't have to. <laughs> we don't have to talk about it. But, yeah, just out of pocket, I won't, I'm not necessarily paying anything. Like, yeah. At the moment. <laughs> I'm going to be paying that later, but... <laughs> Yeah. 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 Isabella, cool we're number four, yeah. film school baby. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, any final thoughts? We have two minutes left. I mean, me and Hunter said kind of final thoughts. Isabella, do you have final thoughts? Final thoughts? I think also, to, like, I feel like you can't expect to, like, do exactly what you want to do all the time, especially after yeah. you graduate. Like, I'm, I don't <laughs> know why I'm, like, giving advice, but, like, I'm <laughs> I just, like, like, you know, like, Take what you can get, almost. Like, everyone starts at the bottom. Everyone starts in the mail room. Like, every single, like, you know, documentary that you've seen just talks about how, yeah. like, well, they started off in the mail room of the agency, and then they ended up running the agency. So, yep. You gotta start, yeah. So, you got to start somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. But with that, um, we have, like, a minute. I mean, I don't see the counter going. Oh. But um, <laughs> that's concerning. Um, but... <laughs> We're six weeks in, and we still haven't really figured uh-huh. out how to use this yeah. radio station. So, <laughs> yeah. um, thanks to y'all for bearing with us yeah. because. <laughs> also, I feel like next week is going to probably going to be our last episode of the semester, <gasps> unless we do one during finals week. Oh, <gasps> that's going to be my birthday. Can oh, it's going to be your birthday. So I guess we technically Ooh. have. I don't know if the radio station is going to be open during finals oh week. It probably is, but we can. We could like we can we do, do it. We could do special. like a we'll do yeah. It. We could do like a birthday special, a end, birthday of special end of finals, wrap up. Yeah, so we have two more weeks, two more episodes oh my for God, the semester, fun. and then we're gonna take a little boiky, little breaky. Ew. <laughs> we'll take a little boiky. And then All right, we'll take... I'm gonna take a little breaky. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, we're gonna take a little boiky now. <laughs> yeah, check us out on Instagram and YouTube. Film said girls. That's girls, but with an O instead of an I. Lol. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, if you have any like requests or recommendations, you can DM us, text us if you know us. I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thank you for listening. Um, Love I you. Like I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cut the camera. I feel, like, I feel like we should. It's like 6.50 and we didn't get cut off. Yeah, I think. That's concerning. Stop. But like, how do we. Okay, bye. Everybody. <laughs> I guess we just put the music back. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> See you soon. Uh, be safe, everybody. Mwah.
Mwah. Mwah. Ew. <laughs>